Hey, what goes on YouTube? Welcome to Disavowed Action Figures. We are on a random toy hunt to Ollie's today, discount outlet store, bargain outlet, because uh, supposedly in a circular, there were pictures of Marvel Legends uh, hitting these stores at a very really discounted price. So if you didn't know, Ollie's is a bargain outlet store, kind of like dirt cheap down uh, out of the West Coast and down South, I believe. So we're gonna go inside and see what they have and maybe score some awesome cheap Marvel Legends and uh, collectibles to see what's inside, shall we? All right, so as we head inside, everybody, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You'd be shocked how many people are watching this video right now and are not subscribed to the channel. It's free. Help me out. Subscribe. Hit that button. Now let's find some cheap Marvel Legends. Wait, this is crazy. I'm in Aldi's in Allentown, and this is ridiculous. I know Art G gave me a heads up, and I think Jimmy Han Rise has also said that they're having Marvel Legends showing up at Aldi's, but did I expect this? Holy cow. We literally have just stacks and stacks of the 80 years figures that were at GameStop for full price. Of course, we're gonna have Captain Marvel for $10. That's Walmart uh, salvage right there. <laughs> but man, I considered picking a couple of these up a ways back. In particular, I thought about picking up this guy and this guy, um, but it's crazy. They even have Indigo Wave here. So 10 bucks, he was going $10 loose without the Billy figure piece at a toy show. We have Boom Boom here. Insane. We have carded Cyclops. Tons and tons of carded Cyclops for $10. But yeah, guys, this is a heck of a find. We have carded Iceman. Are you kidding me? Gambit? Gambit's here for $10. I gotta take that, right? That is ridiculous. $10 Gambit? Look at this. Silver Samurai. Squirrel Girl. At $15. This is just insane. Pre-Century. Gargoyle. This is ridiculous that they have these for these prices. I expected the Marvel 80 years. I did not expect to see freaking Gambit here. That is ridiculous. Who stacks them? Seriously, $10 Gambit? Oh, there they go. Jesus. Don't worry, it's only the Captain Marvel wave. <laughs> but guys, this is insane what they have here at Ollie's. Freaking ridiculous. I mean, this is sitting here. Oh, 10 bucks, man. I didn't expect to be picking up figures today that are old, but this is just incredible the prices these are sitting at right now. Also, I think there's my camera lens might be fogging up, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, guys, ridiculous. Check your Ollie's for Marvel Legends because this is just insane how inexpensive these are. So guys, I didn't even see these here. Check this out, $5.99. I can build the entire freaking figure, build a figure. That is ridiculous. So I am definitely getting all these for $5.99. Talk about playing the long game, right? Holy cow, $5.99 for these. But yeah, this is ridiculous. I've never seen this many cheap legends before. So I'm gonna be spending a lot more than expected today. Wow. And guys, it doesn't end there. Look at this, they have freaking more. Now these are crushed bad. It looks like all cloak. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, all dagger, not cloak. So all cloaks are here for 10 bucks. I never got her, I just have cloak. So lots of daggers, sorry if I keep saying that wrong. But uh, it's ridiculous how much stuff they have out here. Uh, just what else do they have? Moloch down here, Black Series. That's not even worth $8 at this point. But absolutely ridiculous, guys. Check your Ollie's because, and walk around, because stuff's in different sections. All right, guys, so after that Ollie's Insanity, I made a quick stop at the Disney store in the mall on my way to the next Ollie's. And they do have Shang-Chi in the Disney store for bow, bow, $22.99. So considering they're $7 at Walmarts, I don't think a lot of people are buying those. All sorts of Shang-Chi stuff out though here in the Disney store. This is actually really cute. If I had a kid that ate young enough to wear that, that'd be nice. My nephew's not that big yet. Um, but tons of Shang-Chi stuff here all through the store. If there's anything else here I can show you, I will that's Marvel toy related. So they still do have these two packs, the toy box. Those are at $18.99. I think those are actually cheaper. I think those might've gone up a little bit. So those are here in the Marvel section. Um, other than that, they have some more WandaVision stuff sitting here. Actually, it's a vision from WandaVision. Um, I don't think there's much else going on. Looks like here we do have some X-Men, little figurines. They're kind of cool looking, Avengers. All sorts of other Disney, obviously, but uh, I think that's it for Marvel stuff here. I'm gonna go hit some more stores, but I wanted to give you an update here on what's going on at uh, the Disney store. Right, so Ollie's number two, I stopped in the pegs. So tons and tons of Wolverine sitting here. I mean, literally tons and tons of Wolverine. I have an Iron Man, more Wolverine, more Wolverine. And looks like we have for $10, 
the binary Captain Marvel and more Wolverine. I just saw somebody walking out with a bag full of legends, so there's probably more here somewhere. I just gotta look around. Oh, I got some Black Series going on, some more Wolverine. So some people are asking what Ollie's is. It's basically a restock store, like a bulk store, kind of similar to um, like a dirt cheap, which is like down in Texas. So kind of something like that. So here we have more, definitely not as presented nicely as in the other location, but there might be another presentation, another section of these somewhere. All right, I'm gonna shut off the camera and look around and see if I can find more legends. All right, and I was right. They basically have just the boxes down here. So in this store, they also have tons of the Squirrel Girl. Again, this is all salvage, by the way. Salvage basically means that uh, stores like this buy uh, certain weights uh, or pounds, I guess, of figures or of whatever, of anything really. And then they, uh, they put it out, obviously at a discounted price, but they got it for like, you know, pennies on the dollar sort of thing. So lots of Wolverine. There's lots, I didn't mention at the last door, lots of Transformers. Again, I'm not a Transformers collector as I try to always tell you guys, but I try to show what's here. Oh, I got more Cyclops down below. Transformers stuff, Warp or Cybertron, it looks like. I don't really know what I'm looking at there, guys, but it's 20 bucks. Um, that might be about it for the Legends here, I don't know. Looks like somebody might've came in and just wiped out and grabbed maybe some cases of them. So yeah, working my way around. Definitely not as many here, unless there are, again, some more somewhere else in the store. So I'll look around and see what I can find. So again, for Transformers collectors, I kind of glossed over these by accident. So these are the Studio Series Transformers here. There's the tag and the name of that one. Hot Rod. Um, looks like there's lots and lots and lots of Hot Rods here, to be honest. More Hot Rods down below. And well, let's look back here. More Captain Marvel or shoved the binaries. Definitely a lot more at the other location. This is the one that's actually over here. Uh, I think it's Tillman Street, closer to the Crocs Road Target. Whereas the other store that I started at was over by the Airport Road area or Airport Road Target. So not quite as much going on in this store as the other Ollies. And I'm guessing the other one's gonna be picked clean because as I was leaving, lots of collectors were coming in behind me from what I saw. All right, I'll look around a little bit more, but that might be about it for the Ollie. Also, huge shout out to Fixer and his daughter. Fixer, if you're watching, buddy, you and your daughter better be careful because these unattended children have slid their way into Ollie's and they are organized and they are angry. And for all my fellow comic book collectors, uh, one cool thing about Ollie's bargain store is that they also have really cheap graphic novels. So when you go to a comic book convention, and people are selling graphic novels for like, you know, five bucks, seven dollars, whatever, and you think you're getting a killer deal, they're basically getting them super cheap, just like they get them here. So they're probably buying them like in bulk uh, from Marvel or from, you know, whoever the publisher is uh, and, and getting them for a good price and then selling them for a profit, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're near an Ollie's, you didn't know this, always tons and tons of graphic novels on display, cheap, cheap prices have hardcover, softcover, Marvel, DC, Image, all sorts of cool comic books and graphic novels uh, as well. And they also have like bags of comic books, which I've heard sometimes you can actually get some really good books in those bags. I have never done it before because they tend to sandwich, you know, bad ones between two good ones. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a good one on, on each side and they sandwich the ones in the middle that aren't that great. But yeah, it's always checking out all these uh, graphic novels because you never know what you're gonna find. Wow, everybody, so that was totally unexpected. Uh, shout out to Art G here on YouTube and over at Instagram. Give him a sub and a follow. You probably already do because he's an awesome toy hunter. He gave me the early heads up that he saw these figures in a circular. Uh, I believe Jimmy Han Rises also had mentioned it to me as well, so shout out to him. Couldn't believe what we found in that first Ollie's. Second one, a little bit lackluster. Uh, hopefully you're following me on Instagram, disavowed underscore 12. Uh, if you're not, please follow me over there, especially if you're a local collector, because you would have known a few hours ago, as opposed to waiting for this video to come out tonight. Um, but check your Ollie's if you have any around you. Hey, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything, it's free. Helps us grow the channel tremendously. Hit the bell for notifications. So you know when we post new videos here on the channel, Leave a comment down below. Let me know, did you find anything in your ollies uh, or did you strike out? Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed what you watched. Take care, everybody. Stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.